like for face reveal. All right, I think that's enough. All right, guys, here you go. It's the time. Have you wanted to get to 500 subscribers? Well, join the club. Since I don't know how to do it, I brought my friend who recently made it to 500 subscribers. My friend, Joda. How are you doing today? Hey, what's up everyone? How you guys doing today? Alrighty, we've had this planned for a little bit and uh, we even got some community questions to kind of pick your brain a little bit, see how your journey to 500 subscribers has been. Sound good? Yeah, sounds great, man. Let's get Alrighty. to it. Um, we aren't going to say all the community questions all at once just because uh, that would reveal a lot of our uh, interview that we've got already, but they're going to fit in and I will uh, shout out who the questions are from. So don't worry. Stay tuned to find your question. Alrighty. So uh, my first question is, what is your path of game systems? As in, what was your first game system and like, what's your trail of gaming? Oh, well, I've had a pretty long history of gaming. so. I would say my first console was probably the PS2, I think. And uh, I'd say after that, I, I'm pretty sure I got the GameCube. And then Nintendo DS, I think, came out a little bit after that. And then my Xbox 360, oh, that's my absolute favorite console right there. That's like goaded for okay. sure. Uh, one more question with the Xbox 360. How many did you have that red ringed? Oh, believe it or not, I've actually never had the red ring. I've had to buy new Xboxes because I just ended up selling them because I got bored. But, you know, I've always just bought new ones. No, no shot. I had four four Xboxes that red ring, so you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> you have a unicorn Xbox 360. <laughs> okay, so the first question we have from the community is actually from Bix, B-I-X-X. -X. And, and it, the question is, how old were you when you first started your gaming journey? Oh, geez, that's going to be a tough one. Um, I don't know. I'd say I was probably around like five or six years old. My uncle uh, brought one of his game systems over. I think it was Nintendo 64, Mario 3, maybe the one where he gets like the raccoon tail. You get those cool abilities. I honestly don't or maybe know. Maybe that's two. <laughs> OK, OK. Yeah. So uh, Nintendo 64 is always kind of where everybody starts. Same with me. So um, the next question is another community question from Mystica Rain. What was the very first game you ever played and would you play it again? Uh, kind of the same answer as uh, the last question there, uh, the Mario 64. I think it was the Mario 2 there. That was uh, the first game I ever played. My uncle was actually the one who got me into gaming. Perfect. What, would you play it again? Would you uh, do another, you know, maybe another stream of that if you could figure that out? Oh, I 100% would. I actually haven't played it since that time. So it's been over 20 some years. You know, almost 30. Yeah, it's always fun to revisit those old games and see kind of how it changes in your mind. <laughs> oh, I love old games. They're the best. Alrighty, and another uh, community question. A lot of lot of questions about the beginning of your gaming journey in here. Uh, this one's from Fair Fair Maid, Fair Maiden. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be actually said. Uh, shout out to Fair Maiden. Uh, what was your first favorite game that got you hooked on gaming, and what device was it? Oh, that's 100% Halo 3, Xbox 360. I played that game, and that's when I truly became a gamer right there. Yeah, that's, a, that's the start. That's the online start, too. Right? Oh, yeah, the <laughs> online, yeah, they, that especially. It's also, the, the last part of the question is, what year was it? Whew. That, might be, that, might, that one might be a little tough. Probably a year or two after uh, Halo 3 actually came out, because I didn't get it into it like right away. And my yes. friends actually got me into that. So whatever year that came out, probably around there. Okay. And uh, so we're going to kind of take a little step back from gaming real quick. And uh, what does home look like for you? What does home look like? Uh, it's just basically me, my wife, and, you know, my two cats. Uh, I'm not technically married, but we've been together almost 10 years coming up in January. So, you know, basically married. Might, might as well call it that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. There's a question from Unseen of how did you meet your missus? Um, actually, I met her on a school field trip, <laughs> believe it or oh, not. Really? It was some random construction field trip. I barely remember, I'm not going to lie. That's the only part I remember is actually meeting her. But, that's, that's the best part, right? Yeah. yeah. Ten years ago, it's crazy. What were you doing before YouTube? Kind of just working odd and end jobs, trying to, you know, just get by whatever I can do for the most part. Okay. Not too much. 
Not, not too much. Uh, it's working. <laughs> yep, same, same as the rest of us, right? Yeah. <laughs> And what were your some of your early YouTube influences that kind of got you into YouTube, I guess? All right. Uh, no, that's a great question. Um, I have quite a few different influences. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Jinji. He does a lot of like story retrospect type videos and he explains like endings of video games, stuff like that. And then there's another channel called Game Ranks. They do like top 10 list videos. Yo. Absolutely go to definitely go check out both those channels if you guys haven't yet. They're absolutely amazing. Now they do some great videos and I know for a fact that like I can't do those types of videos. So I kind of decided to do more of the live streaming stuff, you know, but those were probably my influences and why I wanted to get into YouTube to begin with. Okay. But the whole live streaming part of it, not to go on a rant, but uh, my buddy Kaz, huge shout out to him. He's the one who really inspired me to like start doing all that to begin with. So huge shout out to him, bro. Yeah, and, and you mentioned a little bit earlier that you, you didn't think that you could do videos like them, but you went the live streaming route. And it, I think it's a good maybe step with you know how you've gained your subscribers with how you've recognized what your, what your strengths and weaknesses are and really played into what your strengths are based on your, uh, your influences of getting into uh, live streaming. I think that's a good step, something to take away for the road to 500 subscribers. No, honestly, exactly how you said it. Perfect, you've worded that briefly. When did you start making videos? Uh, so I went on my channel earlier today to actually take a look at that. And uh, apparently it was January 16th, uh, 2022. So that's what, two years ago now? Two, yeah, yeah, almost exactly two years ago. Well, almost, almost three. Yeah, actually, it'll almost be, three. Yeah. It'll be three in a couple months here. That's crazy. <laughs> and uh, how did you learn to edit? Honestly, uh, my buddy Kaz, like I mentioned before, he kind of helped me out at the beginning there. But uh, after a while, I kind of just, you know, started messing with stuff, just seeing what I can do, just trying to just really push things. And, you know, you kind of just learn as you go, just learn from the mistakes. Yeah, a lot of it's a trial by trial by fire and just kind of just trying things, see what works. And what what uh, what software do you use to edit? Uh, currently, I'm using uh, CapCut, but uh, previously... Free. It's free. It's free. Check that out. And uh, previously, I used um, a Hit Film. I think it was called Hit Film Maker or something like that. All right. First page down. That'll work. This is the, probably the question since the beginning of this video that people have been wondering: Why do you not show your face in videos? Um, I mean, there's a few different reasons, you know, because just growing up, I went to a really crappy school where everyone was just, you know, crappy to everyone. So, you know, bullying reasons growing up, I'm kind of self-conscious about all that, so, you know. But, you know, I kind of wanted to prove to people that, like, you can do a YouTube channel and you don't got to show your face. Because, you know, a lot of people are scared to do a YouTube channel because they think that they have to have a camera. Yeah, you know? exactly. That. And that's that's probably why a lot of people don't do YouTube because they're like, oh, they, they don't want to show their face. But then, like, you're proving that you can get to 500 subscribers without showing your face. There's plenty of YouTubers that you've never seen their face. Um, I'm blanking on his name, but I'm gonna put him right about here, uh, where he wears a full knight outfit. Oh, I think I know who you're talking yeah, about. I yeah, can't, I cannot can't remember his, his name, name but I will put it right here. Um, but will you ever show your face? Um, that's a question I get like every stream almost. Uh, I would consider it if I. Uh, you know, maybe 10,000 subscribers. If you guys want to help your boy out, maybe I'll give you a, a little peek at the face there real quick. <laughs> so you heard that here first, 10,000 subscribers. Uh, just share this with every, every one of your friends and get them to 10,000 subscribers. You can see that beautiful mug. Thank you guys in advance. <laughs> All right, we have another community question here from True Shadow Monarch. And well, I guess that is kind of the same sort of question that we've got, but how did you, how did you start and why? Maybe maybe I can adjust it a little bit to what games did you start playing, I guess? Like uh, in general or live stream? I guess um, we'll go with live stream. What kind of games got you into like, you know, really kind of doing YouTube, if that makes sense, kind of continuing? Well, when I first started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be a how to build this in a Craftopia channel. Cause you know, no one was doing that at the time. Yeah, you don't, you don't hear that name very often. <laughs> nah, you know, my buddy Kaz, like I mentioned before, he was like really into Craftopia. We were building his community up. So I kind of wanted to like build my community around that as well and, you know, help him out and stuff. 
But uh, eventually down the line, I just went back to my favorite types of games, which is just single player story games, you know? Just hang out, talk to chat, just, you know, play some stories. And this might be putting a date on the video, but his most recent playthrough of uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag has been absolutely top tier. Go check him out on next time he's on stream. I'm sure you're gonna subscribe after this video and you'll see when he goes live every day almost. So there's that to look forward to as well. All right, so let's get into some technical stuff. Some of the questions that I like, I'm a little bit of a gear nerd. So <laughs> what is your current setup? Say, uh, keep it simple, Mike, what mic do you got and what computer are you using right now? Uh, I'm In currently general, using a, a pre-built PC. It's a Pavilion Gaming desktop or something like that. I don't know the exact specifics on that, but it's just, you know, might standard have a picture here or something. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mic that I'm using. Okay. Uh, I think it's uh, called a mono. It's just some uh, $50 mic I found on Amazon. I watched some videos on some good cheap mics that you could find for streaming. That was the top one. So it's went for it. I think I, I think I had that one a couple of years ago, actually. And that's a really good mic. Any, by the way, you can make cheap mics sound good. There's oh, plenty yeah. of tutorials on how to do it. You do not need to spend a fortune. Don't no, do what I did and spend $100. You don't have to do that. Nope. Just got just settings. That's all you need. I mean, don't take it from me. Take it from the guy that's got 500 subscribers that you don't need the expensive mic. So go out there, get that, get that cheap little mic and just get started if you want to. Okay. And what keeps you motivated to keep streaming slash making videos? Oh, I mean... There's probably a few different things that keep me motivated because, you know, it, it can be a struggle sometimes trying to stay motivated as a content creator yourself. Yeah, you can look at my page and see my stream schedule <laughs> and video schedule is not the greatest. <laughs> but no, that's okay. You don't got to be consistent at the beginning, you know, you just got to get the feel of it. But uh, honestly, one of my biggest motivations is my community, honestly, like, I just love going live, just talking to people, which is kind of crazy because, you know, I'm kind of an introvert and I do not like talking to people in real life. But I don't know, talking to everyone in chat, just hanging out, playing games is great times. What do you call your uh, your subscribers and your, your friend friend group there? Oh, everyone in there, we call them the crew, you know? We're like, we're like a whole family. Was there a moment like that you can pick on your brain that you really thought you could make YouTube work? <sighs> I mean, that's kind of tough to say, to be honest. It kind of depends on my mood for the day, honestly, because, you know, struggle with mental health issues and stuff like that. So, you know, one day it's like, oh yeah, I, I could do this, you know, I, I'm gonna take this to the next level, this, that, and the third. But then, you know, the next day it could be like, oh, I feel like I can't do YouTube. My community hates me or, you know, no, it, it could be a lot of pressure, but like the moment I kind of thought that I could do it is when I hit 500 subscribers, honestly. It kind of like, I don't know, just hit different. Yeah, were you, were you watching the timer as as the uh, as the ticker is going up? Were you watching it hit 500, or, or did you just kind of open it like, oh, you know, we're there? Oh uh, no, I just woke up the one morning, I opened my phone, and it's tons of notifications, just subscribers and stuff like that, because you know the videos just started popping off, and I was like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> no, that that is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that, like uh, that's crazy, because. Yeah, uh, we, we met when you were maybe like 400-ish, maybe, maybe 450. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly, but like that's that's huge. The, that amount of growth where you just like, that's a, that's a huge milestone. That's a, that's the first step in the monetization process. So that it's really like, it's like a pat on the back that you you deserve that. You slogged through the, the early goings of it and got to this point and that's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Honestly, it's it's been a hell of a ride. That's all I can say. And it's gonna keep on going. Alrighty, so now we have some rapid fire questions. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Favorite anime? Uh, that'd have to be Yu Yu Hakusho, for sure. Favorite movie? Oh, Star Wars. And uh, it had to be episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Okay, you pass. Favorite band or music group? Oh, definitely Hollywood Undead. I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't tell, yeah, got the Charlie scene rocking it. <laughs> Favorite video game and, or video game series or both? Oh, 100% Bioshock. Yeah, there's no question about that. Bioshock series, all-time favorite, goaded. Favorite food? Tacos, 100%. I love me some spicy tacos. Top three favorite TV shows? No particular order. Uh, Prison Break, Supernatural. I guess I'd have to go with uh, Monk. What are some things you do for fun in your free time? Uh, kind of just, you know, just watch some TV shows, some movies, play some video games with the boys, you know. 
coffee or tea? 100% coffee. I don't give me tea. <laughs> Never. So you've hit 500 subscribers. Do you have any advice to smaller channels to help them reach the same point? Um, yeah, honestly, uh, just do whatever's fun for you. Like, if you're a gaming channel, play the games that you enjoy. And as long as you are enjoying what you're doing, people will see that you're happy and having fun and they'll come and join you. Just don't worry about the numbers and your channel will just grow over time. Stay consistent if you can. So it's a lot about the authenticity of it. Don't don't be something that you're not or play games that you may necessarily not like, right? Oh, definitely. I see a lot of channels out there that try to be something that they're not in real life and it just doesn't work, you know what I mean? Because they can just see through it most of the time. Because I've watched plenty of channels, it's like, I don't know, you, you can tell. You can tell when someone's not having fun on a stream or in a video. So like your coach said in high school, just have fun. Exactly, yeah, no, just have fun. It's all that matters. All right, so we have the final community question here from Alan. What are your plans for the future? <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of not of a, a planner of the future kind of guy, I'm more of a in the moment kind of thing when it comes to content. I do plan some videos out a little bit ahead of time, but uh, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I do and just, you know, live stream almost every day, just make the videos I enjoy making and just, you know, do what we do and just hang out with the crew. And one little note on his channel, if you are part of the crew or if you see his community posts, you all get to choose the games that he plays. So make your voices heard and you can watch our friend Joda play the games that you want to see played. Yeah, exactly. Anything else that you would like to say? Yeah, we got some new merch coming soon. So I hope you guys are excited to check that out. A uh, huge shout out to Aaron for hosting this. I really appreciate it, bro. Make sure to go check him out, guys, and give him some subscribers, show him some love. Getting really close to 50, so help him out, man. I really appreciate it. Please. Well, I think that is all the questions that we have for today i have another paper but there's nothing on it so i appreciate you sir thank you for coming on the channel no i appreciate you doing this man this is honestly awesome oh hold on face reveal did you say wait you said you're gonna do a face reveal yeah we're gonna do you guys want to do a face reveal real quick hey we need a like for a face reveal how about that Good. comment comment like like for face reveal all right i think that's enough all right guys here you go the time.